All right, so apparently you ladies are so detestable not even studs want to date y'all. You may have or not seen this viral video of this stud claiming that she is no longer interested in dating women simply because the relationship is not reciprocable. Is that a word? Anyway, she finally realized what a bunch of us men have already understood. When you're in a relationship, oftentimes the things that you do are never reciprocated to the level at which that they should be. So without further ado, we're gonna take a look at this video. We're gonna break it down like a fraction. You already know, go ahead and pull up a chair, sit down and relax with your boy. Let's get into the video. What's up, I'm a stud, I like girls, but I think, <laughs> I think I'm gonna start dating men. And let me tell you why, let me tell you why. So I've been out here dating and I just find that I date a lot of these fems and it seems like they looking for a parent instead of a partner, bro. Like, and I love spoiling my women. I love paying for stuff. I love taking them on dates and getting them flowers and make sure they're good in every way, make sure they're safe, opening the door for them, all that. I love that stuff. But it seems like I can't get any spoiling in return. Nobody wants to play their role. I'm getting girls flowers, taking them on these crazy dates and you know, them real good you know at the end of the night make sure they get home safe getting them all of this and getting nothing in return like i don't know if girls are fake that gay but first of all can we be clear about something this is nothing like the real thing i mean listen i wish i could put this in a way that would make sense for for studs but like you running around with a polyurethane uh polyurethane tip is nothing in comparison to the actual work it takes both internally to stay concentrated right on not busting quick and then on top of that having the stamina to be able to really dig around until she <laughs> shout out Steph is cold for that one um but no seriously it, it's so funny because i've seen a, a bunch of these other videos of studs talking about like actually putting in that kind of work and they finally understand fellas we're no longer misunderstood these well some of them some of these women know just exactly how much effort it really takes to dig these chicks out because you know the reality is and this goes for both both parties i think in some ways or another a majority of us both male and female are so desensitized to other people you know like when we're having and things of that nature that when it comes to sensation and things of that nature, it takes a little bit more for some women. Like I've been in some scenarios where like you need to bring in like the heavy equipment. Listen, don't get me wrong. I have no problem using toys if that's what you're into. Like I have no problem using that in conjunction with what I'm bringing you. But like if we need heavy equipment, like the heavy duty shit to get you to bust, nah, this, you're either touching yourself way too much or you're watching way too much corn, but that's besides the point. Anyway, studs, you finally feel our pain. We appreciate you. Let's keep going. They don't even wanna, like, they don't even wanna F back. Like, they don't even wanna back. Like, am, am I like, I, what? I be trying to ask girls, like, are you gay for real? Like, are you, are you gay? Cause you, and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it even come down to the conversation. I be carrying the conversation, asking them questions, figuring out what they like and what they don't like. And they don't ask nothing back. Like, and I asked this one girl, like, why don't you ask nothing about me? And she said, I'm just trying to see for myself. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the hilarious part is chicks really do shit like this. Y'all really do stuff like this. It's crazy to me. I, it's a concept I've never understood. Like, how do you expect a conversation to start between two parties. Like when I used to use dating apps, side note, I think guys should actually use dating apps. You just gotta be, you know, really like sort through it. Don't just be swiping crazy because that's how you end up getting shadow banned and getting all of the, uh, all the mids. I remember when I used to use dating apps, girls would often message me first and it would always be something corny, like just ridiculously corny like things with no substance things with no like inherent interest and for me it's so funny because when you read some of these profiles they expect like a novel in their dm like they want some guy who's like witty char charismatic has all the right words says all the right things but then when it comes to them reaching out to a guy it's all hi come on come on ladies you could do better than that i personally believe you can do better than that. In fact, ladies, if you're watching this video, I want you to do me a favor, leave in the comments below, what has been your best 
pickup line. And if you had to rate your Riz on a scale of one to 10, where would you put your Riz? Anyway, let's keep going. What? Like if I'm paying for everything, I'm doing all the transportation, I'm initiating everything, the least you could do is a little or or something or bring something bring me some flowers walk to the gas station give me a bag of chips i'm not asking for a lot but it seems like i am because i can't get anything out these girls you know and not everything is about this but if you're not finna do this and make sure that i'm satisfied then you have to pay for something you're gonna have to pull up you're gonna have to give me something some blunts some alcohol or something and honestly i ain't gonna lie you rolling up every once in a while ain't even enough no more it's not enough like i need the full experience the same way that i'm giving you and i just feel like with a man like he's automatically expected to do things put stuff in motion pay for stuff all of that stuff and i know if i had a boyfriend i would reciprocate his energy and treat him really well because i already have that in me as a masculine presented person and honestly i'm not even masculine like i'm kind of stem like i'm kind of stem i like to switch it up like i like to be mad most of the time but i will put on some lashes and a cute outfit and everything like that so that part of me ain't feeling the the not getting nothing in return it just got me like overwhelmed and as a giver i need me a giver and maybe i just haven't found her yet but it's making me think like maybe i'm on the wrong side because at least i know what a man i'm supposed to get some type of spoiling because right now i'm not getting nothing and it's making me want to switch so anybody that's out there let me know if i'm tripping studs am i out there y'all feeling like like let me know if i'm tripping bro all right there's a lot to be said here. I'm not going to spend too much saying a lot, but here's here's my two cents. So first of all, yeah, she's right. Um, a lot of these relationships are transactional and some of these women are just genuinely lazy. Like I remember when I first moved out into my, my first apartment, I had um, my ex came over and, you know, I, I decided to cook. So I, I made some flank steak, you know, normal shit really basic stuff you really can't go wrong with flank steak and the only trade-off there was that she had to clean the dishes right not a problem so i make the steak we eat the dinner whatever she grabs the plates puts them away instead of washing them she sets them aside on the sink and then when i asked her why she's like oh, i'm too tired i don't feel like doing it right now i'll do it later <laughs> what the fuck I, I used to work at equinox i would wake up at three in the morning be in the city at the gym by five work literally 12 hours come home at one in the morning and still do what i have to do like that night we didn't eat obviously at 1 a.m but like i still had a whole work day came back and still made the food you're telling me you're not going to be willing to at least clean it like i don't know i don't know about y'all but for me personally i'm a very clean person i don't like having a lot of uh, like debris and shit laying around my house my space just in general so i like to clean up as i go fellas as a side note if you are cooking you should be cleaning up as you go there's no point in, like leaving dishes and shit all over the place because that just makes a mess that you don't need to you know that you shouldn't be cleaning anyway but um when we talk about women not reciprocating this is very often like guys go through this routinely and the worst part is for a lot of guys they're not often the female's first choice like she's he's not the ideal that she wanted so therefore the relationship turns into something more transactional and he just ends up being used over time this is just the natural ways of life this is how it goes for some individuals unfortunately but here's what i would say in counter to what she was saying. She mentioned that she knew if she were to have a boyfriend, she would be reciprocated or she already knows that he would start putting things in motion because that's just our role. It's funny how the entire world knows what a man's role is, but when it comes to a woman's role, it is abstract, it's fluid, and essentially it can be subjective. Anything it wants to be. But for a man, it's rigid, it's stiff, it must be a certain series of characteristics, or that man is not a man, he's just a male. These are just my two cents. I just think it's funny how the world seems to characterize both genders in such odd ways and we see it consistently play out through society. But do me a favor, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm done rambling. It's Friday. I got shit to do. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my joint and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.